I'm Heather Gravy. I run the Open Society European Policy Institute in Brussels. Hi everyone, I'm Sabina Chofu. I'm Romanian. I live in Brussels and I work at the crossroads of tech, regulation and trade. Hi, my name is Sarah Taylor. I'm Europe Director at the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. My name is Charles Grant. I'm Director of the Centre for European Reform. I never wanted to be a think tank director. It just happened to me when I was making other plans to, to misquote John Lennon. You know, I have a very non-traditional path, if you want to, to call it that way. I've had an unusual career path. Uh, it hasn't been a ladder at all. There's been no career ladder. It's been more of a snake having to take uh, twists and turns as they came and, uh, and find opportunities. I've worked on gambling legislation, on social exclusion, on internet regulation, on cyber diplomacy, and now in Europe. The skills I need to, to succeed are to um, work through a massive information and pull out the key points uh, and really see what are the implications for the real world. I think in this line of work it's really important to be adaptable, to be flexible and to put a lot of value on, on network and the people you meet and the connections you make. An open mind, curiosity, uh, a reasonably analytical brain, um, but most importantly, the ability to bring together teams of people who bring huge range of backgrounds and disciplines, because the key to good policy making is diversity of thought. I think it's often said that to run a think tank effectively, you probably need at least three skills. One of them is the ability, the most important actually, is the ability to raise money, because if you can't raise the money, then the think tank doesn't exist. So you need to be able to persuade people that you have a viable, successful project which is worth investing in and you do good work. Secondly, you have to give intellectual leadership. You need to be able to frame ideas and talk in an interesting way on the media or at conferences. The third uh, attribute you need is you have to be able to manage a team well. One of the biggest challenges is being taken seriously as a woman, particularly as a young woman who's got lots of ideas and enthusiasm in a room full of men who've seen it all. It's very important to remember that your ideas are the mark of your thinking, the quality of your ability to analyze, and putting them out in a room full of skeptical people who knock them down is no shame at all. I think a big part of being young and uh, in a career in policy is that you don't really understand the, the value of the network. And I've come to understand over the years that it's a lot more important who you know than what you know. Uh, that's not to say they exclude each other, but uh, building your network early on is, is really important. Um, and that ability to reach out to people who are a lot more senior than you, which can seem intimidating when you're 23 and just doing your first internship in Brussels. But that is what's going to change your path ahead. First and foremost, I think um, it's a sense of imposter complex. What do I know about this subject? Why would anyone want to listen to me? But I have a couple of cheesy mantras that I carry with me. Uh, one of which is to be kind and be brave. Um, I've always found that the things that I, looking back, am most proud of are the things that scared me the most. Never ever start a sentence uh, with I feel or I think. You just state what it is that you feel or you think and you'll be taken much more seriously. Make sure that you, it's, you close the door as nicely as you open them. Uh, and I think that's so important because, you know, throughout your career, you'll work with people you don't like. You'll work with bosses you don't like. Uh, you'll come across people that maybe don't share your values or your view of, views of the world. And having the ability to kind of respond with kindness and with, you know, grace to whatever it is that you hear or encounter is probably the best thing I've, uh, I've learned and would love to pass on. I can think of one piece of advice that I think is relevant, which, which came from Jacques Delors, the former president of the European Commission. He once talked about Pascal Lamy, who was his chief advisor, his chef de cabinet, who ran the commission for Delors in many ways. He said, the thing about Lamy that's really good, when he gets information with his colleagues in my cabinet, that's his private office, 
he shares the information immediately. He doesn't hang on to it. Most people in most bureaucracies, the law was implying or saying, I don't know whether it's said or implied, guard information very closely and see information as a source of power, which other people in bureaucracy don't have, and they like to hang on to information. But it's much more efficient if people who get information share it. It's better to be helpful than right. And if you can convene the right people, create the right environment, ask the right questions, provide the right challenge, and do that with confidence, uh, you are part of the solution to any policy problem.